Hello everyone, this is Randy. So today this is a tutorial talking about shader displacement in EV. In the past, I have already made a demonstration video talking about the development progress of this shader displacement. Today, we're really going to cover the details about how to use that in case you are not familiar with geometry nodes or shaders or Blender itself. So let's start. Shader displacement uses the presets I created for my own so you can download them for free from the link in the description. So here we in Blender, this is uh, a plane and uh, let's add a geometry node modifier and add a preset which is called a fuel volume. So just by looking at this preset you know it's actually just uh, creating instances that fills the volume. So you increase the count, to increase the resolution, you change the displacement. You also need to add a material. So I already created a material for JS displacement, so you just uh, use that material. Another thing that you need to do is to you output this gradient. So this gradient should always be named as a D. And then let's go to shader. Okay, so this is the shader that I created. Let's go to material preview mode and we do see kind of a grayish color of our plane, but there is no texture. The reason, as I've explained in my UV tutorial, that uh, you still have the UV data, but it's just uh, not being recognized by the system when you're using operations like uh, realize instances inside a whatever place. Okay, so here we need to pull the UV data using the attribute node. And if you're not for if you're not sure what kind of name that you need to input within this socket, then you go to spreadsheet and it goes to face corner. There is uh, only one UV map available. So you just type a UV map and then take in the color. Okay. So now we have the image texture, but it's kind of very bizarre. Uh, talking about the principle of a shader displacement is basically you're creating a layers of your geometry and you're using the displacement map to drive the alpha of each layer. So you kill some alpha of them. So here, let's take another preset which is called shader displacement and the plug the color. So alpha goes to alpha. So now we see something is happening, but it's kind of ugly. This is because how EV handles the alpha. So in this case, let's just uh, create use alpha hash and alpha hash. It will basically be fine. Uh, let's go to settings. Let's enable ambient occlusion as screen space reflection. Okay. So this is how it actually looks. Um, people also suggest uh, about alpha clip. Uh, you can use them. I do not really see the significant difference. Okay. If you are do not like all this kind of bending, then you can increase the count to increase the resolution. Just to know that this method is not suitable if you are using Solidify. Uh, it does not probably create too much difference, but it won't really work very well. Okay. You can try by yourself. Uh, another thing talking about the different uh, engines, technically speaking, this method can be used for cycle, but it's probably not a good idea. Uh, in cycle, if you really would like to do anything, then you switch to experiments. And when you are using the uh, subdivision surface, then you enable adaptive subdivision. That's the method to go. Uh, the whole point is to use this kind of shader displacement in EV is that instead of displacing any true geometry, for example, you have a high count of subdivision surfaces, then now we are only using a four, a plane of just the four vertices. So the performance is actually pretty good, ideally speaking. So here, let's just uh, uh, add some light so area light goes to render view and we create a maybe 100 and too much like a 60 and let's enable the contact shadow so that it becomes better so you can play around all these kind of different settings it's very kind of fast another important thing is the jazz displacement is very harmful for a system because all this kind of right angle it's very difficult for you to get a nice result. That's why 
shaded displacement can really give you high resolution of details and you can play around with that so you can play around all this kind of maximum displacement and the count to get the result you want and basically that's it uh, this can work for almost every geometry so let's create a UV sphere okay. for UV sphere it will be a little bit slow if you're trying to have, have a high count so maybe 16, 16 should be good enough another issue is that if you are using geometry or know the primitive then you have to always look uh, for whether the UV map is the same as you, what you typed in so here let's change that to UV map so now we have this geometry okay so let's go to material preview you can see this is a nice result high detail and it works for any kind of geometry even for Susan monkey so basically this is it so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I'll probably see you next time bye bye